That was Tamar Braxton talking about how she's not caught up in between Jeremy Robinson and Aniston Jenny. However, that's not all she did, as she seemed to have thrown some shades about Jenny wanting her man recently. This was like a person that Jenny actually really kind of wanted to be with. Yeah, definitely. Not, not, she, her and her the daughter just piece. posted a prayer <laughs> congratulating him. Well, Braxton seems to think everything Jenny has been doing might just be her fishing for a storyline using the singer's image and people trying to um, keep me in a box of being in a, in a reality you know, business and being a reality star and trying to find a storyline or whatever that was. And Unlike actual movies that are scripted with drama infused at the center, you'd expect that reality shows, which are supposed to be purely based on the real lives of the people involved, would have less drama. However, the years have proven their lives to be anything but drama-filled. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're watching it all play out. This time, it's Tamar Braxton and Jeremy Robinson's not-so-extended family that are at it. Well, we can't really say it's an absolute shocker that the man's baby mamas seem to be out here trying to warn women about his tendencies, but one of his baby mamas just broke the internet after she made some pretty wild claims against her ex's new beau, knowing Tamar Braxton. One of the things that made the claims from Robinson's baby mama even as big as they got is that Braxton isn't one to back out from drama, or even outrightly calling someone else out. So imagine how much chaos has broken out over this short period. That's right. While none of the parties involved in this breaking news are new to being at the forefront of the headlines, it seems the drama about to be uncovered between Robinson, his baby mama, and Braxton might lead to the trio actually landing their own reality show because people seem to believe this explosion had been a long time coming. In honesty, most people would probably also agree that they saw things going downhill for them, particularly Braxton and Robinson. Not because the pair didn't seem compatible, or that they got engaged only weeks after meeting each other, but the conviction of most people seemed to have stemmed from Robinson's history with women. A history that seems to have landed him in drama after drama, most of which involved kids, so it makes sense to think his life might be shrouded in controversy involving the women in his life and others from time to time. What most people did not, however, see coming was one of the businessman's exes and a mother of his child coming out to tear his current woman apart. It's easy to write this off as something of a jealous reaction because Braxton seems to be on the verge of ending up with a man she couldn't make it work with, but the man's baby mama doesn't seem to be jealous. Not only did she call Braxton out for interfering in their family affairs, but she also threw some jabs at Robinson too by making some revelations about the man we're almost certain Braxton didn't know about. Now, fans are wondering why the woman has decided to do whatever it takes to kick Braxton to the curb. As you'd expect, there are those who, even though she attacked her former lover in the process, seem to think she did it all out of jealousy. And there are others who also strangely seem to believe she did it as a way to look out for Braxton, so she doesn't also end up as one of his baby mamas. It's a drama-filled story with new twists showing up almost every week, so stay tuned to get this week's scoop. We, we have an amazing co-parenting situation. Um, I I will be honest and say that uh, the comments that came out, I think, were misleading. On some days, she's a singer, and on other days, she's a reality star. But one thing that seems to be constant with Tamar Braxton is that she almost always finds her way to the top of the headlines. Although it doesn't seem like she actually makes an intentional effort to end up in the trends, but it seems the superstar life just comes with the baggage of drama, at least that's what we've been seeing in her case. Now it's her man's ex that has dragged her into the media, and the woman wasn't having it with Braxton. A couple of weeks back, Tamar Braxton celebrated her 46th birthday with with a side of drama. The all the way home singer took to Instagram to commemorate her big day on Friday, penning a sweet message to her at the time fiance, Jeremy J.R. Robinson, for keeping a cheesy smile on her face. In the post, Braxton, who shares son Logan with ex-husband Vincent Herbert, also noted that she and Robinson's blended family has a total of six children. So miss me with the he has four baby mamas, she wrote. Thank God for them. We are blessed and drama free. Well, one of Robinson's baby mamas, Aniston Jenny, got wind of Braxton's remarks and slammed the singer for not being honest about her relationship with his children and their mothers. I have sat in silence for over a year, respecting everyone's privacy while they disrespected mine, she wrote on Instagram Friday. I've sat in silence while this person has come into my son's life and caused nothing but chaos and unnecessary drama. Jenny clarified that the Braxton family values alum was in no way a bonus or stepmom to her and Robinson's son, Asher. My son does not mean everything to her and she has not thanked God for me and Amp, 
Truthfully, none of his baby mamas, she continued, adding that Braxton has said demeaning, disrespectful, and amp outrageous things about how she co-parents with Robinson. Jenny claimed that the love and war singer has made no effort to meet her and has caused Robinson to miss visitation weekends and birthdays. I'm fine with people sharing their version of the story that they've created for themselves on social media plus television, but what we will not continue to do is involve the son that I raise in someone else's shenanigans, she concluded. Jenny's post comes one day after news surfaced that Braxton had gotten engaged to Robinson, who competed for her love on the new reality show, Queen's Court. During the final episode of The Peacock Show, the attorney popped the question to Braxton. I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your husband, the attorney told the Grammy nominee, per the news. I'm here forever because I don't see my life without you. And I love you. Tamar, Tamar, will you marry me? Something told me to trust the process, and I've never done anything like this before, and what's the worst that can happen? The former Wet V star accepted his proposal, adding, I can't believe I found what I was looking for. The thing is that most people didn't expect Tamara to actually accept Jeremy's offer. See, besides the fact that they hadn't known each other for very long at the time, there is also the part of Jeremy seemingly having commitment issues, as the man already had five kids with four different women from his past. To a lot of people, that wasn't just a red flag, but was pretty much a carnival of bright red posters. Anyway, seeing as he just put a ring on her finger, suffice it to say he wasn't going to just let his ex call Braxton out like that. Only a day after word broke of Robinson's ex calling her out, the man quickly came to her defense. She got called her out for causing chaos and unnecessary drama in his and his other family's lives. Tamar Braxton has always been an amazing mother and spoiled my children with love. The attorney, who shares five children with four different women, wrote on his Instagram stories at the time. The mothers sick of my children have been put in the public eye because of me, and that's unfair to them, Robinson continued. They have been nothing short of amazing to my children. Sometimes a difference of opinion with no conversation to clear up miscommunication creates a bad cycle. He concluded, Tamar is an amazing mother to my children, um, and there are no issues in that category. Was that honest? Oh yes, that's honest. Well, because you can't have beef with somebody you've never met. I want everyone to be peaceful and will do my best to foster that. Let's just say many fans didn't exactly expect Robinson to hop straight into Braxton's defense, as the pair seemed to have been in a rough patch at the time the whole thing happened, we just didn't know about it. See, while the pair had decided they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together only weeks after meeting each other, they shocked the world with some news shortly after. The singer and her Queen's Court finalist, Jeremy Robinson, reportedly ended their engagement earlier this year. A couple of weeks ago, Robinson revealed on social media that he and the Braxton Family Values star are no longer together after getting engaged on the first season finale of the Peacock reality series. So many questions, so many assumptions. I want to answer all that I can with respect, he wrote in a statement on his Instagram story. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and AMP, being a better person. The attorney refused to divulge details of the split, saying, what happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated, no. I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized, he added, referring to an incident earlier this month in which the singer claimed was robbed at home. No, I never cared about fame. Who reveals their most embarrassing moments in their life to find fame? The truth is, I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. I turned down Queen's Court several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love and it did not end how I wanted it. He concluded his message by sharing that he hopes to heal following the split, adding, Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. A source later told news outlets shortly after that the split was Braxton's decision. There's been a lot of drama, but the hope is that the nail isn't all the way in the coffin for them. She needs time, the source said. The ball is in her court. She's in a good mental state and has a great village around her and supporting her through this. The thing about this breakup is that from the timeline of Robinson releasing his statement about the breakup, they had already been having problems seemingly for months before it was made officially. Eagle-eyed fans even noticed that Braxton had unfollowed Robinson even before his official statement. All that proves is that even while they seem to have been having problems, the man still chose to publicly defend her. It seems this might have been one of the things that even made them get back together after everything went down the drain. In fact, the makeup I'm referring to just happened a couple of days ago. 
Per the news, it seems breakup season gave way to Thanksgiving block spinning as latest set of exes, Tamara Braxton and Jeremy Robinson, reunited this weekend. Their reunion comes amid Tommy Lee, alleging that she could have crashed the sweet moment because she recently got invited out by the attorney too. The former fiancés looked coupled up at the Atlanta Falcons versus New Orleans Saints game. While King Harris and his family were breaking up, it looked like the reality TV couple was making up. As JR rooted for his hometown team, he recorded a video from his VIP seat on the sidelines, and the NOLA native shockingly revealed a reunion with Tamar. Robinson showed off his Saints swag and how close he was to the action on the field. Then he turned the camera to some women seated beside him. He didn't say a word besides a sly chuckle. Before you could ask, who dat? Tamar ran into his arms. The Queen's court couple seemed back like they never left. They were both all smiles, giggling over Robinson's hope for a win. The Saints couldn't pull it off this time, but it looks like there was a comeback on the field after all. As reports previously had it, fans suspected Tamar went through a break-in and a breakup with JR in September, as she took to Instagram with a video of burglars robbing her car. The post sparked split speculation because Tamar said she didn't feel safe anywhere or with anyone. She also noted that she kept a lot in her car because she didn't live anywhere at the time. This was also around the time Robinson took to Instagram to announce that he had called off his engagement to Tamar. He also put so many assumptions to rest, emphasizing he has his own money as a successful attorney. Fans accused Robinson at the time of not protecting Tamar based on her cryptic post. However, he clarified that he could do nothing about the break-in at her mother's place. Later that week, Tamar revealed Jeremy broke up with her within the same hour as the burglary. Yikes! He said he would always love Tamar's family, and she signed off with trusting the process in God's hands. Right now, it's a little hard to tell if the exes remained good friends or if they're soft launching a second chance at love, but it seems the fans are already sure of what they want. While fans are usually rooting for rekindled relationships, this time they're telling Tamar to stand up. Just a week ago, one person wrote, Bro, why is Tamar with JR at that ATL game? Another user wrote, It's too much going on at this Falcons and Saints game. You got Tamar and JR sneaky linking like two fools and T.I. Sun King trying to fight his own damn dad and mom. Shut us TF back down, Joe. Well, it looks like Robinson's baby mamas may not have to do a lot to get Tamara out of the picture, as fans already seem to be doing just that for her. Nonetheless, we'll see where they go from here. That's it for this video. Goodbye.